baby, look at that! Holy shit! Oh! Welcome to episode four of the Pitchaboon Motorbike Tour Series. As you can see, I've moved out of the city center. I'm closer to the mountains. I'm here at this beautiful but budget-friendly resort coming in at 1500 baht, aka 49 US dollars, with at least a half a million dollar view. From my bed, you can actually see the five Buddha temple that I was at yesterday. Today's game plan is go ride Highway 2331. This is the road that this entire motorbike series is based off of. At the end of that road is one of the most epic lookouts in the Pitcher Bun area called Pew Turbeck. Hopefully we can get there at sunset for beer. That's it, Highway 2331. Most people take this route just to go to Pew Turbeck, which is one of the most visited lookouts in this region of Thailand. Their priority is the lookout. My priority is the road to the lookout. This has nothing to do with the topic of the video, but did you notice that 7-Eleven? It's so weird. When you get in North Thailand, the 7-Elevens start to look different. It's weird to see a brown 7-Eleven instead of white and green. This group of teenagers over here at the 7-Eleven are hanging out and smoking cigarettes and being hoodlums and laughing at me filming myself. They are like staring at me hardcore. Yo, what's up, dude? What up? What's happening? Hello? Yo! What's up, bro? What's happening? You chilling? You good? All right, hell yeah! Where are you from? Me too! Yeah, I'm from Thailand. Okay, bye-bye. In case you're new to this channel, I have something to tell you. I have a road fetish. Like, I'm not joking. It's a serious thing that I've had for a decade. I live for curvy mountain roads. This is my shit. I don't care if I'm in my Nismo 370Z back home in America on the tail of the dragon or in a 150cc motorbike in the mountains of North Thailand. I love this shit. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, oh. yeah, baby. Look at that. Holy shit. Oh, <clears throat> one mile in, I legit almost busted my ass through that hairpin turn. I hit some gravel and it caused the bike to slide. I'm going to shut up for a few minutes and just do some riding. If you're not interested in riding footage, go to this time point right here and we'll be back to your regularly scheduled program. this view that is so incredibly epic hello look at that that is the road i just rode you okay 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 okay, okay. Yes. lady boy Yo, dude, this is crazy. I've never in my life been this cold in Thailand. The views are ridiculous. The views, as good as the road. Wow, look at that view. Wow. 
ายลูกให้หน่อยครับถ่ายลูกมักยาเจ้าเพิ่งรู้ว่าอะไรอืมฉันไม่ได้เห็นบีร์โฮปฟุลีในทางออกเขามีแผงแบบนี้ที่ผมจะมาซื้อให้ใครก็ได้ไม่ต้องไปไหนไม่ต้องไปไหนพวกเขามีแผงแบบนี้ที่ไม่ต้องไปไหนไม่ต้องไปไหนพวกเขามีแผงแบบนี้ที่ไม่ต้องไปไหนไม่ต้องไปไหนพวกเขามีแผงแบบนี้ที่ไม่ต้องไปไหนไม่ต้องไปไหนพวกเขามีแผงแบบนี้ที่ It's awesome. So once you get here to the national park, it costs 500 baht, aka $15, to get in. So what you do is you just take a right, and this is where the actual viewpoint is. I'm pretty sure I'm really close to the absolute top, guys. I'm not gonna lie. If I could choose between a hot chocolate and a beer. I'd probably take the hot chocolate. All these resorts up here with these little like hillside villas and camping tents, dude. I don't know if I'd want to spend the night up here. It is that cold. From looking at the map, this is as high as you can possibly get here. And the view, holy shit! And and I don't. So this is officially the tallest point on p u t e r b e c They actually have everything set up here where it shows you the temperature, and it is 20 degrees Celsius. That's actually not as cold as I thought it would be. I'm freezing. Man, all this tropical weather in Thailand must have just turned me into a bitch. All these people staying in these tents are out of their mind. There's no way in hell I'd sleep there. Excuse me, waitress. Can I please have a beer? Thank you. I appreciate your help. Cheers, guys. To sunsets and beers. I said earlier in this video that my main purpose of coming here was the road, and the view was secondary. Well, I've changed my opinion about that. Even if you're not a road guy, even if you don't enjoy curvy mountain roads, come here. For this, I'm gonna enjoy my beer, and then I'm gonna make it back down the mountain before it gets absolutely pitch dark. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Your support is appreciated, and I'll catch you in another video very soon.